HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. Tom Nappy here with your call for Hopkinton Hillers softball as today they take on the Norwood Mustangs. Joe Frackleton is our cameraman this evening, and this game has a title on the line with a win. The Hopkinton Hillers will clinch the TBL large title. So it is certainly a big game for Hopkinton. The Hillers have had a great season. They are 13 and five overall, 11 and four in TBL play. And, or excuse me, that's the, <laughs> the baseball standings, but, uh, and it's the same for softball, 13 and five overall, 11 and four in TBL. And Norwood is 10 and five overall. It should be a great matchup here today between two very good teams in the TBL large. Pitching today for the Hopkinton Hillers is Juliana Cedia. She's getting ready to throw to Bryn Garzinski, the center fielder. Let's take a look at that Norwood Mustangs lineup as Bryn Garzinski, the center fielder, steps in. She'll lead things off. Emma Matoro, the shortstop, batting second. Kaylee Reed, the catcher, hitting third. Amanda Olbris, the pitcher hitting cleanup. Addie Hudson, uh, the designated player hitting fifth as the first pitch is ball one. Batting six is the second baseman, Danielle Caravan. The first baseman, Grace DeLeo, is batting seventh as this is hit up the middle and that'll trickle into center field. It's a leadoff single for Bryn Garzinski. And now Emma Matoro, the shortstop, will step in. So Grace DeLeo, the first baseman, hitting seventh, hitting eighth is the right fielder, Jenna Mazzola. Katie Welsh, the left fielder, hitting ninth. Let's take a look at the Hillers field. Juliana Cedia, the pitcher, she's set to throw, bunt laid down. There it is, up the right side, picked up by Ansi. Throw to first for one, now the throw to third, and they have the runner in a pickle, but she is going to be called safe. And the ball came out of the glove of Jordan Chevery, who came all the way in from left field to try to make the tag. So Garzinski is pushed all the way up to third, but it was nearly a double play situation there. That was a great throw by Emily Whalen over to Chevery, who is covering third base. But unfortunately, she was unable to hang on to the ball when she got the tag in there. Kaylee Reed, the catcher, is at the plate for Norwood. The first pitch is ball one. So the Hillers field, Juliana Cedia, the pitcher, her battery mate is her sister, Jillian Cedia, Bella Ansi at first, Emily Whalen at second, Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, Kristen McCluskey at third, as that one's followed into the backstop. From left to right, Jordan Chevery, Katie Holly, and Megan Sullivan. A one and one count on the third hitter in the lineup, Kaylee Reed. Runner on third, one out in the inning. Hillers baseball also underway against Norwood over on the other side of the turf. That game in the first inning, and they are scoreless. A swing and a miss by Kaylee Reed. And we'll certainly keep you updated on the baseball game as well. My usual broadcast partner, Larry Sacklad, is over covering the baseball game, and we will have that available on our YouTube page. Sometime this week, a swing and a miss by Kaylee Reed. There's out number two, a big strikeout by Cedia. Amanda Olbrice, the pitcher, will step in. She's hitting cleanup today. And a very good athlete from what I have heard about her. And she is set to swing and will foul that one away. Oh, and one is the count. So Bryn Garzinski started things off with a single. Emma Maturo then grounded out to first. Garzinski advanced all the way to third but was nearly tagged out. But 
The ball came out of the glove of Jordan Chevery, who was covering third base. As this is up the middle, Cedia picks it up, throw to first, got her, not a problem. One to three for out number three. To the bottom of the first we go. We are scoreless here at Hopkinton High School. Heading into the bottom of the first here at Hiller's softball, but the baseball team currently in action against Norwood, and they have a two to nothing lead heading to the top of the second. But coming up here in the bottom of the first are the Hopkinton Hillers for the first time today. Let's take a look at their batting order. Emily Whalen, the right fielder, will start things off. Tara Kester, the designated player, will bat second. Katie Holly, the center fielder, hitting third. Julian Cedia, the catcher, is going to hit cleanup. Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman, batting fifth. Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, hitting sixth. Juliana Cedia, the pitcher, hitting seventh. Jordan Chevery, the left fielder, hitting eighth. And Bella Ansi, the, right, the first baseman, hitting ninth for the Hopkinton Hillers. And I apologize, Emily Whalen is the second baseman, not the right fielder. And she is set to step in right now. We'll get you the Norwood field in just a moment. Line up and the pitch. It's a low pitch from Olbrice. The Norwood field is Amanda Olbrice, the pitcher. Kaylee Reed is the catcher. Grace DeLeo at first base. Danielle Caravan, the second baseman. Emma Maturo, the shortstop. Heather Gagliard is the third baseman as that pitch is down low. From left to right, Katie Welsh, Bryn Garzinski, and Jenna Mazzola for the 10 and four Norwood Mustangs. That pitch just inside to Whalen. Whalen has done very well at the plate this season and she draws a walk here. So Whalen is aboard and now Tara Kester will step in, the designated player. There's a strike. Emily Whalen was hitting a 544 coming into today. As for Tara Kester, she has a nice batting average as well. The sophomore is hitting a 396. 19 runs scored, 12 driven in, and she'll foul that one away. Count remains 0 and 2. As far as on base percentage as a team, the Hillers have a 340 on base percentage. As Whalen takes off and she steals another base. She is safely aboard at second. Showing off the speed there. Wind up and the pitch from Olbrice is down low. Whalen taking off for third and she'll slide in safely. Doubling up the steals. And the throw from the catcher, Kaylee Reed, was pretty high towards Heather Gagliard. It was a nice job by Gagliard, making sure the ball didn't end up in left field. Swing and a miss. She's going to take off. The ball fell out of the catcher's glove. Throw to first, not a problem. One away. So Tara Kester goes down, way of the K. And now Katie Holly, the center fielder, will step in. One out, runner on third for the Hillers. Emily Whalen coming into today. Had 13 stolen bases, already two in this game, so make that 15. Wind up in the pitch to Holly, fouled away. And ricocheted back to Whalen off the backstop. Nice catch by Whalen. Wind up in the pitch, down low. One and one. Katie Holly, a 627 batting average. And this is right at the third baseman. Picked up, throw to first, and they got her. And it was a nice job by Emily Whalen, realizing that she probably wouldn't make it home safely, so she stays put at third base. But it's five to three for out number two. And now Jillian Cedia, the catcher, will step in. And that was a pretty good job by Heather Gagliard. That ball was crushed right at her. And she was able to make a play on it. I know, excuse me. Holly was safe. I apologize. The first baseman got pulled off the bag. 
So she was safe. The foot came off the bag, so she is safely boarded. She just stole second there. So it is two on with one out for the Hillers. That must have been a very close call at first. But the foot just came off the bag. Up the middle, back to the pitcher. Throw to first, they'll get an out there. Now the throw home. And they get Whalen trying to score. They double him up. So this game will remain scoreless as we head to the top of the second on HCAM. Top of the second inning coming up for the Norwood Mustangs is five, six, and seven. Addie Hudson, Danielle Caravan, and Grace DeLeo, the designated player, second baseman, and first baseman. Stepping in to face Juliana Cedia, who has pitched wonderfully this season. We'll get you some stats on her in just a moment. Line up and the pitch. Just outside, one and oh. Juliana Cedia, just a freshman, a 262 ERA, four wins, one. Lost 12 appearances out there on the mound. Has thrown 69 and a third of an inning. Struck out 57. Pretty impressive numbers there by the freshman. Of course, Charlotte Can has been the other freshman for the Hillers that has pitched well. And they've been kind of sharing time out there in the pitcher's circle. Line up and the pitch to Hudson. And this is up the middle. That'll get into center field. That's going to be a base hit. So a single to start off the top of the second. And now... Daniel Caravan, the second baseman, will step in. She looks down towards her coach to get the call. Norwood is led by head coach Carol Savino. She's done a nice job with this Norwood program, that pitch up high. One and oh count on Caravan. And now we'll have a stop in the action here as Caravan wants to talk to her coach, Coach Savino. And the CDS sisters will also have a chat in the pitcher's circle. It's no outs, runner on first for Norwood. We'll take you through the TVL standings in just a moment, but the title on the line here for the Hillers. If they win, they clinch the TVL large title. A loss would make it a three-way tie. That pitch is up high. And that three-way tie would be between Hopkinton, Norwood, and Medfield. Miller's baseball still up two to nothing heading to the bottom of the second over there. We'll keep you updated on that game as much as we can because that pitch is just outside. That'll make it a three and oh count on Caravan. Danielle Caravan, a senior for Norwood. And she is one of six seniors on the roster. Swing and a miss, runner taking off from first, throw to second, they got her. What a great throw from Jillian Cedia. Caught stealing is Addie Hudson, one away. Well, sometimes uh, testing Jillian Cedia is not going to end up very good for the opposing team. As this is hit over to right field and caught by Megan Sullivan. So it was three and O oh on Caravan at one point, but Cedia battles back and that is good for out number two. Grace DeLeo, the first baseman will step in. Base is clear, two outs. There's a strike. Last time the Hillers took on Norwood in Norwood, it was a nine to three win. That was just last week. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, 0 oh and two. Taking a look at the TVL standings, Medfield 14 and five, Norwood 10 and five, Hopkinton 13 and five, Hallison four and 15, Ashland four and 11, Westwood three and 16. We'll get the TVL small in just a moment. Just outside, one and two. Norton, 14 and four. Bellingham, 12 and five. Medway is 12 and seven. Dedham, 13 and six. Millis, eight and 11. Dover Sherborne, two and 15. A very strong TVL small this season. 
only two teams below 500. And the TVL small champs have actually already been determined. It's the Norton Lancers who are picking up right where they left off. They lost a uh, great pitcher in Kelly Nelson to graduation, but they continue to have success over in Norton. As that pitch is fouled away, count remains two and two. And TVL as a whole, of course, has been very strong this year in softball. Grace DeLeo steps back in. Cedia deals, down low, full count. Set to deliver. And there's strike three, got her looking, and that'll wrap up the top of the second. One, two, three, they go, and we are scoreless as we head to the bottom of the second on HCAM. Bottom of the second inning, stepping up for the Hillers is the third baseman, Kristen McCluskey. And it's a bunt up the left side, slow roller, picked up by the catcher, not in time, the ball got away. McCluskey will stay put at first as the fence kind of helped out Norwood there. Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, will step in. That pitch just low to McIntyre. Throw to first, nearly caught McCluskey sleeping over there, but she's back safely. And that was a perfectly placed bunt by McCluskey. A slow little roller that trickled just in front of home plate. And this is up the middle, picked up by the shortstop. Throw to second for one. Throw to first, not in time. So McIntyre reaches on the six to four force out. And that'll bring up Juliana Cedia, the pitcher. Juliana Cedia has home run power. Look out, she can crush the ball just like her sister Jillian. She'll get a piece of this one, and it will take a hop, a couple hops on the turf, flip to second, not in time, everybody's safe. Well, that's an awkward play to make, and she played it well and got the flip right off to second, so you certainly can't call that an error. Juliana Cedia reaches safely with the single. Kristen, or excuse me, Alyssa McIntyre up to second. Jordan Chevry, the left fielder, will step in. So it's two on, one out for the Hillers. Jordan Chevry, a junior, hitting a 460 on the season. She has scored 12 runs, driven in 14. Swing and a miss there. 0 oh and 1 is the count. Cloudy day today here in Hopkinton. Temperatures in the mid 60s. Rain expected later, but hopefully it will not be sooner than they are saying. They have been saying 8 o'clock, 8.30 all day, but the last time they said that, it started pouring rain during the softball game. That was against Medfield last week, so hopefully that will not be the case today as that pitch is just inside. One and two is the count on Chevery. And she'll get a piece of this one fouled away. Count remains one and two. Miller's baseball leading Norwood two to nothing. They are in the third inning. This is up the middle, back to the pitcher, throw to third, and they'll get McIntyre heading to third. So they get the force out. So Chevrolet reaches on the one to five force out. Up to Second is the pinch runner for Juliana Cedia, Sienna Harrigan. And now Bella Ansi steps in. Swing and a miss there. Slow swing there by Ansi. So an 0 and 1 count. Two on, two outs for the Hillers. We've had a pair of force outs in the inning. Line up and the pitch from Olbrice. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Bella Ansi on the season, hitting a 258. Line up in the pitch. 
And she'll get a piece of this one up the right side. That'll get into right field. Lead runner is going to be stopped at third. And did Atsi reach first in time? Yes, she did. That was a good play by the right fielder, Mazzola, who got that ball in immediately and almost got the out at first. So it's bases loaded for the Hillers, two outs. And this is who you want up at the plate, Emily Whalen. Emily Whalen hitting a 544 on the season, 30 runs scored, 12 driven in. That pitch just outside. Well, she usually doesn't get a whole lot of opportunity to drive in runs as she is first in the batting order, but has an opportunity here. Wide up in the pitch. She'll get a piece of this one up the left side, bobbled by the shortstop. Everybody's safe and a run scores. A very difficult play to make for Emma Maturo. So I'm going to score that one, an RBI single for Emily Whalen. Sienna Harrigan, the pinch runner from Forcedia, comes around to score. Chevery up to third, Bella Ansi up to second. Tara Kester to the plate, that pitch down low. One and oh on the designated player. Bases juiced for the Hillers, two outs. A run in, a one nothing lead for Hopkinton here in the bottom of the second. And there's a strike, one and one. Whalen at first, Otzi at second, at third, Chevrolet. Fouled away, one and two. Well, both teams know runs are going to be hard to come by in this game. It is two very well-rounded teams here. As this is hit over to right field, to the fence, and as I say that, a big hit there. And the right fielder having all kinds of trouble. One run in, another run in. Here comes Emily Whalen. Three runs in to score for the Hopkinton Hillers. It's a three RBI triple for Tara Kester. And it's a four nothing lead for Hopkinton. What a great piece of hitting that was right towards the fence. It took a weird bounce in front of the fence, giving Jenna Mazzola all kinds of issues out there. And Tara Kester clears the bases as this is hit just above us from Katie Holly. That's just what you want if you're the Hillers. So four have scored all in this inning. Four nothing lead. And we still got Tara Kester at third, two outs, Katie Holly at the plate. If anybody could keep this rally going, it's Katie Holly, and she gets a piece of this. Over to right field, and that's gonna drop. Here comes another run. Holly going over to second, now coming to third. The throw in, not in time. It's an RBI triple for Katie Holly. Five nothing Hillers. Jillian Cedia, the catcher, will step in. And the Hillers have batted around here in this bottom of the second as Norwood will have a conference in the pitcher's circle to try to calm down Amanda Albrice. What a great job by the top of this lineup. Emily Whalen with the RBI single to get things started. A three RBI triple by Tara Kester, an RBI triple by Katie Holly. That's what you want out of the top of your lineup, and that's what they got. Now they have the cleanup hitter at the plate, runner on third. Jillian Cedia has hit well this season. She is batting a 582, has scored 15 runs, driven in 31. She's been an RBI machine. Infield playing in on the left. There's a strike, 0 oh and 1. Right up in the pitch, down low and inside, one and one. Now the Hillers offense kind of went soft for a little while last week, but it's starting to come back with the recent win against Norwood just last week. I believe that was last Friday in Norwood. Now today, that offense picking up right where it left off against this Norwood Mustangs team. Two and one count on Cedia. She'll get a piece of this. In the center field it goes. Here comes Katie Holly. And Cedia beats it out. An RBI single for Jillian Cedia. 
A 6 nothing lead for the Hillers. They have batted around. We'll have a pinch runner for Cedia. Kristen McCluskey to the plate. Into pinch run, that's Carly Stevens, a sophomore. Here comes McCluskey for the second time this inning. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch. And there for a strike. And the ball got away, runner taking off, and she's safe at second. Stevens kind of had an awkward uh, fall there at second, but able to advance. Her teammates having a nice laugh. Line up and the pitch, down low. Well, it looks like Amanda um, Olbrice having some trouble there getting through this inning. And obviously when you have the top of this Hillers lineup come up and just get hit after hit, it could wear on you. So that's fouled away. Two and two. Line up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one hit in the air over to left field and caught for the third and final out of the inning, but not before the Hopkinton Hillers plate six runs in the bottom of the second, and they lead it six to nothing as we head to the top of the third on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Top of the third inning, the Hillers leading Norwood six to nothing. A six run rally in the bottom of the second. Due up for Norwood, eight, nine, and one. Jenna Mazzola, the right fielder. Katie Welsh, the left fielder. And Brian Garzinski, the center fielder. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Hiller's bench making all kinds of noise. They are pumped. They can taste the title. And this is up the middle. That'll get into center field. So a leadoff single for Mazzola. Stepping in now, Katie Welsh, the left fielder. And there's a bunt, foul. Stepping in now, Katie Welsh, the left fielder. There's a bunt, foul. Oh and one count. Runner on first. No outs for Norwood. Second batter of the inning here. Fouled away, oh and two. She's still trying to bunt. Now with the 0-2 count, I don't think you want to try to bunt here. CD deals. And this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll drop in for a base hit. Lead runner being waved to third. The throw in is going to get past CD. Everybody will stay put, but Jenna Mazzola gets all the way to third, and Katie Welsh to second, so a nice double there. It's runners on second and third, no outs for Norwood, and don't think this Norwood team's going away without a fight, as Bryn Garzinski, the center fielder, will step in. Hillers plated six runs last inning. An RBI single by Emily Whalen followed by a three RBI triple by Tara Kester, followed by an RBI triple from Katie Holly, and then Jillian Cedia with an RBI single. There's a strike, 0 oh and 1. Cedia set to deal, down low, 1 and 1. It 
Cedia deals. And this is right back at Cedia. That might have hit her. I hope she's okay. Run does score, and everyone's safe. Well, that's just an awkward, awkward play to make. That was a rocket right back at Cedia. And I think she might have got hit in the shin, so I hope she's okay. But Jenna Mazzola comes to score, and Coach Alberry going to check on her pitcher. And I'd like to say a special thank you to Coach Alberry. She got Larry and I some beautiful Hiller hats, so we are pumped about that. Thank you very much, Coach Alberry. So it's Katie Welsh over at third. Bryn Garzinski at first. A run is in for Norwood. It's a 6-1 to one game now. Still no outs. Emma Maturo, the shortstop, will step in. Well, this is a Norwood team that can rally as well. Bunt pulled back. Runner taking off from first. And she will steal the throw to third. Got by the third baseman, and the run's going to come around to score. So Katie Welsh comes around on the error. And that was a... Throw that McCluskey probably should have had. But Garzinski credited with the stolen base, and now it's a 6-2 to two game. Well, that was a nice manufactured run there by Norwood. That's what you do. You send that runner from first to second. And that was a great job by Cedia. She made the exact right call to throw it to third. She knew what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately it didn't pay off as the throw was dropped by McCluskey, and the run comes around. Now you have a runner on second with no outs and two runs in. And a Maturo had a sacrifice ground out her last time up. Swing and a miss. Well, Juliana Cedia has pitched her way through many jams this season. We'll see if she can get through this one. Up high. I would say uh, Charlotte can probably on standby if needed. Top of the third, a six to two Hillers lead. And this is hit foul and out of play. One and two is the count. Hillers baseball leading Norwood two to nothing. They are in the fourth inning, heading to the top of the fourth. Wind up and the pitch from Cedia, and this is up the middle, picked up by McIntyre, throw to first, they'll get the out, now the throw to third! Did they get this out as well? Yes, they did! What a throw over by Bella Ansi to get the out at third. Nice job by McIntyre as well. So they go six to three to five to double them up. And that is huge for the Hillers. Two away, Kaylee Reed, the catcher, will step in. Well, that could have marked an early end to the rally for Norwood. We'll see what Reed does here. She struck out her last time up. That was a great throw over by Ansi. Just firing it over to McCluskey to get that out at third. So the aggressive base runner running did not pay off there for Norwood. It's now bases clear, two outs, but two runs are in for Norwood. Fouled away. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you for Hiller's softball. Joe Frankelton on camera making his debut. His softball debut, at least. He's done a lot of other work for HCAM as that's filed away, 0 oh and 2. Coach, with some words of wisdom for Kaylee Reed. She's going to bunt here, or at least square to bunt. And now she'll pull it back. Just outside. Good eye there. One and two. And 
good amount of uh, people here today taking in the softball action. It looks like a lot of the members of the girls lacrosse team is here. Two and two. Outside, full count. Reed squaring the bunt once again. And she'll get a piece of this one over to left field. It goes, that's gonna roll all the way back to the wall. Reed heading to second to throw over to Whalen is not in time. So stand up double for Kaylee Reed. That'll bring up Amanda Olbrice, the pitcher. Trying to help her own cause here. She grounded out her last time up. There's a ball. A lot of the Norwood hitters start out with the bat in front and then they pull it back right before the pitcher is about to release the ball. Could be some kind of strategy there to create confusion, perhaps. Two and oh. Update from the baseball game. It's now a two to one Hillers lead. Norwood plated a run in the top of the fourth. Line up and the pitch. She'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It goes, lead runner being waved around. The throw in is going to be off the mark. And it's going to be an RBI single by Olbrice. She advances to second on the throw in. Nicely done there by Olbrice, placing that ball perfectly in the outfield to allow Reed to score. It's a six to three game now. Two outs in the inning, runner on second, Addie Hudson, the designated player to step in. Well, just when you think this game's gonna be a pitcher's duel, think again. Both these offenses coming alive. It sailed smoothly for the pitchers through the first inning and a half, and then the Hillers offense exploded in the bottom of the second, and now Norwood having a rally here in the top of the third. A 1-0 count on Addie Hudson. Fouled away, one and one. Addie Hudson, a senior. Line up in the pitch, up high. Two and one. Juliana Cedia trying to battle through this top of the third. Fouled away, two and two. Now Jillian going to come out to talk to her sister about the situation. Runner on second, a two-two count, two outs. Three runs have scored so far in this top of the third for Norwood. It's a six to three Hillers lead. Upstairs, full count now. Well, you got first base open, so a walk here isn't the worst thing in the world. But of course you want to try to get out of it, but it will be a walk. And now the runner take off for third, the throw over. They're gonna call her safe. That was very close, but great awareness by Jillian Cedia. Getting a throw right to third. She knew what was happening there. So a walk there. And now it's runners on the corners with two outs. Daniel Curavan, the second baseman, stepping in. And that, that was a close call at third. I thought that throw made it in time. But the umpire saw differently. One and O count. We'll have to take a look at the tape on that one. Cedia set to deal. 
up high. This Norwood team, they've played very good softball throughout the season. They're not going to make clinching the title easy. Right back to Cedia, throw to first. They'll get the out. One, two, three for out number three. But the Norwood Mustangs play three runs. It's a six to three Hiller's lead as we head to the bottom of the third on H cam. Bottom of the third inning. It was quite... And inning this uh, past inning, bottom of the second, the Hillers plate six runs. Norwood responds with three in the top of the third. Two up for the Hillers, shortstop Alyssa McIntyre, pitcher Juliana Cedia, and the left fielder Jordan Chevery. Six, seven, and eight in the lineup. Pitch down low from Ole Bryce, who remains in the game. Hoping for more success this inning. Two and oh now on Alyssa McIntyre. Alyssa McIntyre hitting a 349 on the season. The juniors had a pretty good year at the plate. 15 runs scored, 13 driven in. Hit high in the air, right side and caught. And that was some nice range by the second baseman, Daniel Curvan, to make the catch. One away, and that'll bring up Juliana Cedia, the pitcher. Juliana Cedia had a single and scored a run as part of that six run rally in the bottom of the second as that pitch is ball one. Cedia hitting a 464 on the season. The freshman has had a great season at the plate and in the pitcher's circle. Six runs scored, 11 driven in, four doubles and a homer to her credit. Count is one and one. And this is up the right side, picked up by the first baseman, and it'll be a three unassisted ground out for out number two. That'll bring up Jordan Chevery, the left fielder. Well, things going a bit smoother uh, this inning for Old Bryce than last inning, that's for sure. And this is right back to Ulbrice, who will just snipe it right out of the air and make the catch for out number three. One, two, three, they go to the top of the fourth. We go, it's the Hillers six, Norwood three. It's Hillers softball on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Norwood coming up to the plate here in the top of the fourth. Due up, it's seven, eight, and nine. Grace DeLeo, the first baseman, Jenna Mazzola, the right fielder, and Katie Welsh, the left fielder. Norwood was one hitter shy of batting around last inning. Cedia deals, fouled away. Well, after a six run rally by the Hillers in the bottom of the second, Amanda Olbrice had a very smooth Bottom of the third. Let's see if Cedia can do the same after giving up three runs last inning. Line up in the pitch, up high. One and one. Hillers baseball now leading Norwood three to one in the bottom of the fourth. Line up in the pitch. This is up the left side and that is foul, just foul. That was close, one and two. Grace DeLeo struck out for only plate appearance in this game. Pulls back the bunt and swings and misses, out number one. Jenna Mazzola, the right fielder, will step in. TVL large title on the line. If the Hillers win, they will be the lone owners of the TVL large title this season. If Norwood wins, it's a three-way tie between the Hillers, Norwood, and Medfield. 
So Norwood fighting for the title as well, really. Line up and the pitch. And that's high. We'll get by the reach of Jillian Cedia. Two and oh. Right, Hiller's baseball game really moving along. They're already in the fifth inning. They're heading to the top of the fifth. Still three to one Hillers. That pitch inside. Three and oh. They did start a little early over there, but this game has had all kinds of action, so typically uh, we'll be in the fifth inning when the baseball game's in the second, but that's not the case today. Already nine runs scored between the two teams. Jenna Mazzola draws a walk. So it's one out, runner on first. Katie Welsh, the left fielder, will step in. Low and outside, one and oh. Hit in the air, foul territory, and out of the reach of everybody. Off the Norwood dugout it goes. One and one count. And this is hit in the air over to right field, just past the reach of Megan Sullivan. Lead runner heading to third as it rolls all the way back towards the fence. And it'll be a double for Katie Welsh. So Mazzola up to third, Welsh at second, one out, two in scoring position for Norwood. Here comes. Bryn Garzinski, the center fielder, tying a run, coming to the plate. Coach Alberry talking with the umpire. Cedia set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to center field, caught by Katie Holly, runner from third, thought about tagging, but she thought twice after a great throw in by Holly. Two away. Emma Maturo, the shortstop, will step in. Runners on second and third, two outs in the inning. CD deals up high. Upstairs. Two and oh. CD deals just inside. Three and O. Oh. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air over to left field. That'll get down. A run is in. And that is all that'll score, but it's an RBI single for Emma Maturo. A 6-4 to four Hillers lead. Jenna Mazzola comes around. Up to third is Katie Welsh, and that'll bring up Kaylee Reed, the catcher. Well, Norwood inching closer.
Just outside, says the home plate umpire. One and oh. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air over to the wall in left field. And that's off the wall. Run is in to score. And the runner behind her will be stopped at third. That was nearly a three run blast by Kaylee Reed, but it stayed just in the ballpark. So it results in an RBI single. Katie Welsh came around to score. Emma Maturo up to third. And it's a six to five Hillers lead. Amanda Olbrice, the pitcher, will step in. Coach Alberry out there to talk to Juliana. Well, you wonder if a uh, pitching change could happen here if she can't get out of this inning. Charlotte Can was warming up. So we could see Can. It looks like Coach Alberry is going to take the ball. We might see a change here. Charlotte Can is coming into the game for Juliana Cedia. So we will have a pitching change here for the Hillers. In the top of the fourth, well, a tough lineup to get through. Very good hitting team are the Norwood Mustangs. So now Charlotte can going to come in and try to save the day for Juliana Cedia. It's a six to five. Hiller's lead, we're in the top of the fourth. We'll take a timeout on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Phil's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Continuing on here in the top of the fourth, Norwood has plated two more runs in the inning. It's a six to five Hiller's lead. Charlotte Can is the new pitcher coming in for Juliana Cedia. And she'll hit the batter. So now it's bases loaded for Norwood. So it's Baturo at third, Reed at second, Old Bryce now at first, Addy Hudson to the plate. There is two outs in the inning, but a huge opportunity for Norwood. We'll get the numbers on Charlotte Can in just a moment. Inside and low, nearly hit the batter again. 2.96 ERA for the freshman, 10 appearances. She's pitched 47 and a third of an inning. She's given up 20 earned runs overall. Walked 18, struck out 52. Now pitch inside, 2 and 0. Oh. Well, for both these pitchers on the Hillers, Juliana C.D. and Charlotte Can, they're both freshmen. They're going to they're going to only get better from here. And I know they both do a lot of off-season softball activities to stay on their A game. So I'm really looking forward to watching this pitching combination in the next few years for the Hillers of Juliana Cedia and Charlotte Can. A three and O count to Addie Hudson. And it's low and a run will score. Game's tied at six. So the tying run is walked in by Charlotte Can. And now Danielle Curavan, the second baseman will step in. A six to six game. At one point it was the Hillers leading six nothing. Well, you think about other pitching options for the Hillers if can struggles. Emily Whalen got a lot of pitching experience last season. Is that something we'll see if can can't get out of this inning? Norwood has batted around. That's down low. She's having trouble finding the strike zone out there. Two and oh. Now, Jillian Cedia going to talk to Charlotte. Some words of encouragement for the freshman. Jordan Chevery did make an appearance in the pitching circle this season. She did not record an out. Caitlin DeStasio also did. She pitched an inning and a third and did not have a whole lot of success. That's down low. Three and O. Oh. Update from Hiller's baseball. Hopkinton still leading Norwood. Three to one in the bottom of the fifth. There's a strike. Three and one. 
Final applause from her bench. It's always a tough situation to come into a game, face a good offense. This is up the middle, picked up by Whalen, throw to first, and they'll get the out. Nice job by Whalen making the play there to get through the inning, but Norwood did play three runs, and we are tied at six apiece, heading to the bottom of the fourth on HCAM. Bottom of the fourth inning, a six to six game. The Hillers plated six runs in the bottom of the second, but Norwood plated three runs in each the top of the third and bottom of, uh, and top of the fourth. Hiller is going to try to respond here. Due up is nine, one, and two. Bella Ansi, the first baseman, Emily Whalen, the second baseman, and Tara Kester, the designated player. And Ansi will hit this one in the air, sky high, to right center, and it's caught by Bryn Garzinski, one away. They'll bring up Emily Whalen. Emily Whalen is one for one with a walk at the plate. Drove in a run, scored a run, and stole two bases. Not a bad day for the senior. There's a strike. And Albrice remains in the game for Norwood. Infielders playing very much in on the corners. Fouled away. O oh and two on Whalen. And this is up the left side, picked up by the third baseman. She hesitated, no one was at the first base bag. A miscommunication by the Norwood infield. And Heather Gagliar didn't seem too happy. Certainly can't blame her. So Whalen reaches on the infield error, but since there was really no bobble or misfire, I'm gonna give her a single. Tara Kester, the designated player, will step in. Whalen thought about taking off, but she will go back to first to throw down, and she's safe. Tara Kester had a three RBI triple in the bottom of the second. That scored runs two, three, and four in the six run rally. A pitch outside, Whalen taking off, and she's safe at second. Third stolen base of the game for Emily Whalen. She's up to 18 on the season now. Right up and the pitch, down low. Whalen thought about taking off again, but we'll go back to second. Well, she likes to get in the head of the pitcher and the opposing catcher. There's been a, numerous times where she forces infielders to make mistakes. There's a strike, and Whalen taking off her third, safe, just safe. That is her fourth stolen base of the game. And she had some contact there with uh, the shortstop who ranged over Emma Maturo. So Coach Alberry checking on her, but she is ready to go. But there was definitely some contact there. So I'd imagine that didn't feel too great. Kester draws the walk. So it's now runners on the corners, one out for the Hillers. And Katie Holly coming to the plate. Big, big opportunity here. Katie Holly also had a triple in that six run rally. That drove in a run. That's fouled away towards us. Oh, and one. We are knotted up at six apiece here in the bottom of the fourth. Infielders once again in on the corners. That pitch down low. And Tara Kester with an easy steal to second. No one over there covering either bag. So it's now runners on second and third. Inside. And the question is, are you going to give Katie Holly anything to hit in this situation? 
seems as of right now, they're pitching to her. And she'll get a piece of this one. It's a rope right back to the second baseman. And that was a nice job by both base runners, staying near the bag so they could just get back there. So that is two outs now. Jillian Cedia, the catcher, will step in. She is one for two today. They didn't do a double play in the first, an RBI single in the bottom of the second. Up the left side, picked up by the third baseman, throw to first, this time somebody is there. Five to three for out number three, and we remain tied at six apiece, heading to the top of the fifth on HCAM. An update from the Hillers baseball game. Hopkinton leading Norwood four to one. That game in the top of the sixth. Hillers baseball also in contention for the TVL large title. But they'll need some. Uh, they'll need to get a couple wins and I think have a couple teams lose. But they are the front runner right now. As Grace DeLeo takes ball one. It's seven, eight, and nine for Norwood. Grace DeLeo, the first baseman. Jenna Mazzola, the right fielder. And Katie Welsh, the left fielder. Charlotte Can out there. She came in to relieve Juliana Cedia last inning after Cedia gave up the game tying run. Or actually, after it, she gave up the fifth run. But the game tying run also charged to CD. It scored on a walk by Can as this is hit into right field. And it's a leadoff single for DeLeo, who just beats the throw by Megan Sullivan. Jenna Mazzola, the right fielder, will step in. So the lead runner is on for Norwood. And boy, has this Norwood offense been a pest for Hiller's pitching today especially the last couple innings. Every out has been very difficult for these Hillers pitchers. A 6-6 game in the top of the fifth. How could you want it any other way with a title on the line? Jeremy Zola having a good day at the plate. One for one with a walk, two runs scored. Down low, runner taking off from first as it got by Cedia, and she will advance with ease. Wild pitch. Can deals. Nice pitch there. One and one. Well, can at times struggles getting her pitches up in the zone. If she could repeat the pitch she just threw on that last pitch, every time she'd have a lot of success. That one down low, two and one. Line up and the pitch, just outside. Three and one. And it's a walk. We'll put runners on first and second with no outs for Norwood. Katie Welsh will step in. And Welsh gonna have a talk with her coach. And the Hillers will take the time to have a chat in the pitcher's circle. Knotted up at six here in the fifth. Norwood led by head coach Carol Savino. Hillers led, of course, by head coach Shannon Alberry. Baseball game still at four to one. They're in the sixth. I do hear some cheering over there, so perhaps that was the third out in the top of the sixth. Wind up in the pitch. And it's a bunt, slow roller, picked up by Can, throw to first, and they'll get the out. But the two runners on do advance. So a job well done by Katie Welsh there. Sacrifice bunt. Out number one, and now you have the top of the order. 
Rin Garzinski, the center fielder, will step in. She is two for three today. Pair of singles, a run driven in, and a stolen base. Down low. Can maybe a little more sound this inning. Well, she was having some control issues against the first few hitters she faced. We'll see if, we'll see if she can get that straightened out. Well, one thing she did do but between innings is go warm up a little more. It is a two and oh count. Runners on second and third, first base is open. One out in the inning. And this is up the left side, and a nice play by McIntyre who's able to field it and throw it over, but I don't think she got the throw over in time, and everybody's safe. That was a nice job by McIntyre. That ball was a rocket right up the middle, and she prevented it from getting into the outfield and allowing another run to score. An RBI single for Garzinski, and they'll bring up Emma Maturo, the shortstop. It is a 7-6 Norwood lead. So for the first time today, Norwood has the lead. Down low, runner taking off from first. Stolen base for Garzinski. It's her second of the day. One and oh count. Well, that cheering over at the baseball field was not good for the Hillers. We'll get you an update in just a moment. Norwood has tied the game at four apiece in the top of the six. So these Norwood Mustangs giving the Hillers all kinds of trouble on the Diamonds today. Line up and the pitch down low. Two and O. Oh. I believe it was a three RBI hit that allowed Norwood to tie it over at the baseball game. And there's a walk to Emma Matura, a four pitch walk. Not what you wanted to do there. Well, actually, it doesn't hurt you that much. Now you have a, at least a play at every base, but you have to get the out here. So there's only one out in the inning, however, and the bases are loaded for Norwood, who now has the seven to six lead. They scored three runs in the third, three more in the fourth, and so far just one in the fifth, but a big chance to add more. 1-0 count on Kaylee Reed, the catcher. She's having a great day at the plate. 2-4-3 with a double and a single, an RBI, and a run scored down low. Miller's baseball has now entered the bottom of the six. That game tied up at four. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs. I'm being told it was a three-run homer for Norwood to tie it up over at the baseball game. There's a strike. Three and one. Well, strikes have been tough to come by today for Charlotte Can. Fouled away, full count. Another nice pitch though. Set to deliver. Inside and that'll walk in a run. An eight to six lead now for Norwood. Jenna Mazzola comes around to score. That'll bring up Amanda Olbrice, the pitcher. Bases remain loaded for Norwood. Still only one out in the inning. Coach Alberry going to have a chat with Charlotte Can. I have not seen any warm-up action, but it looks like she's going to take the ball. And Juliana Cedia is going to come back into the game to pitch. And that is something you can do here in softball. 
So Juliana Cedia is back into pitch. An eight to six lead for Norwood here in the top of the fifth. We'll see if Juliana Cedia can settle down this Norwood offense. Perhaps a inning and a third away was what she needed. Charlotte Ken goes an inning and a third. Four of the runs charged to Ken. Four charged to Cedia. Down low, wild pitch gets by the catcher. Here comes a run, and she will easily score. Nine to six, Norwood. Rain Garzinski comes around on the wild pitch. Emma Maturo up to third. Kaylee Reed up to second. Well, that's the last thing you can have right now. Another low pitch, and now the runner from third gonna try to score again, and she will! The throw gets by Juliana, and Emma Maturo makes it a 10 to six game. Emma Matur and now it's uh, Kaylee Reed up to third. And the runs just keep on coming for Norwood. And this is up the middle through Cedia. A run comes around to score. Everybody's safe. An RBI single for Amanda Albrice. An 11 to 6 lead for the Norwood Mustangs. And Addie Hudson will step in. Well, the Hillers have struggled on their home turf recently. And the struggles continuing on here in this game. Hillers trailing by five. Fouled away. Runner from first with the easy steal, but actually she's gonna have to go back. Took off a little too late. Oh, and one is the count. Hillers baseball knotted up at four with Norwood. They're in the bottom of the six right now with one out. And this is up the left side, slow roller, picked up by McCluskey, throw to first for one. Now the throw back to third, can they double him up? No. So they do get Hudson out at first. Nice five to three play, and Albrice advancing to third. And for the second time today, Norwood has batted around as Daniel Curavan will step in. She is 0 for 3 at the plate. There's a ball. Well, the Hiller's pitcher's just having a tough time today. Sometimes that happens. I don't know what was wrong with that pitch, but the count, two and oh. CD deals. Outside, says the home plate umpire. Well, for the most part, I agree with the home plate umpire, but there's been a couple pitches, and I think, uh, might have been a little too picky on. There's a walk. So that'll put runners on first and third with two outs for Norwood. Grace DeLeo will come up for the second time this inning. Hiller's baseball has gone back ahead of Norwood. It's now a five to four lead for the Hillers. Still in the bottom of the sixth. So Norwood will be down to their final three outs in that baseball game. We're still in the top of the fifth here as this Norwood offense has just been relentless. Grace DeLeo will step back in, 11 to six. Norwood lead. They have plated five runs here in this fifth inning. 
Down low. Juliana Cedia and Charlotte Can just had a hard time out there in the pitcher's circle. Light up and the pitch. Fouled away over towards us. One and one. Set to deliver. Down low, two and one. Well, it must be frustrating when you're just having trouble finding the strike zone. You gotta shake it off and keep throwing. Fouled away, two and two. Hillary's baseball leading six to four, heading into the top of the seventh. So things are looking good in that game. There's baseball in action against Norwood. We do have coverage of that game. It is not live, but we will have it available very soon on our YouTube page. And also airing on HKM Ed. A swing and a miss for strike number three and out number three, but the Norwood Mustangs have done the damage as they played five runs in the fifth inning. It's an 11 to six Norwood lead as we head to the bottom of the fifth on HCAM. Heading to the bottom of the fifth inning, the Hillers with some work to do, trailing 11 to six. Coming up for Hopkinton is Kristen McCluskey, Alyssa McIntyre, and Juliana Cedia to face Amanda Olbrice, who after giving up six runs in the bottom of the second has really calmed down and pitched very smoothly. Hillers down to their final nine outs and Norwood over in the baseball game down to their final three outs. It's a six to four Hillers lead in the baseball game. There's a strike. O'Brien steals and fouled away. 0 oh and 2. Kristen McCluskey, Alyssa McIntyre, Juliana Cedia do up. Up high. Kristen is 1 for 2 in this game. And she'll get a piece of this one over to center field and it's caught, one away. They'll bring up Alyssa McIntyre. Alyssa McIntyre 0 for 2, reached on a fielder's choice and flew out. First pitch a ball, 1 and 0. Well, one out for Norwood over in the baseball game. That's fouled away over the backstop, one and one. Hit in the air up the left side and out of the glove of the left fielder, Katie Welsh. She had it in her glove, but then it just bounced right out. And that was a very tough play to make. She covered a lot of ground to even have a chance at that thing. So Alyssa McIntyre, I'm gonna credit her with the single. Juliana Cedia steps in. Runner on, one out. There's a strike. Well, if you could use the bats. It's in this game right here for the Hillers. TV a large title on the line. If Norwood, own, if Norwood wins, they'll own a piece of the TVL large title. So will the Hillers, so essentially they get it either way, one way or the other. And Medfield will own the other chair. Outside, one and two. Juliana Cedia, one for two today. Singled and Cena Harrigan pinch running for her, scored a run. And 
That six run rally as it's fouled away. Count remains one and two. Amanda Olbrice has not given up a run since that six run bottom of the second rally for the Hillers and she's only given up one hit since that. Actually make that two hits with the one this inning as that is just out of the reach of Grace DeLeo, the first baseman. Count remains one and two. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs, two and two. Norwood down to their final out in the baseball game. Hillers up six to four as that pitch inside. Full count, fouled away, count remains full. Good battle here between Cedia and Albrice. Fouled away. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul. Count remains full, what a battle here. There has been quite a few battles here in this softball game. O'Brien set to deal. Fouled away, the battle continues on. Runner on first, one out. Full count here on Juliana Cedia. And the umpire says she swung for strike three. The bat might have just, just went around. Cedia is certainly not happy with the call. Jordan Chevery will step in. Now that's a tough battle to lose. You make Obrice throw all those pitches and go down like that. So now it's runner on first, two outs. There's a strike. Throw down to first, runner back safe. Hit in the air over to right field, and that's a fair ball. Lead runner being waved over to third, and that's where she will stop. So now it's runners up on first and third with two outs. Bella Ansi, the first baseman, will step in as a little bit of rain starting to fall. And we have an update from the baseball game. I think for the first time ever, the baseball game has finished before we do. The Hopkinton Hillers taking down Norwood six to four over on the baseball diamond. And we're gonna celebrate senior night and we'll have all those highlights available for you either tonight or tomorrow as well. Fouled away. And the umpire got hit, so hopefully he's okay. And I think the trainer wanted to check on him. Gonna shake that one off. Looked like got him uh, maybe right in the chest. I think the trainer just wants to take a quick look at the umpire. So that's the stoppage here. Oh and two is the count on Bella Ansi. The sun is out, but there's a couple of raindrops falling. So hopefully that's all it'll be. Heavy rain expected tonight. Fouled away. Good battle here between Bella Ansi and Amanda Albrice. Bella is one for two today, singled and scored a run as part of that six run rally back in the bottom of the second. Down low. Throw to third, runner from first advanced to second, so Chevery with a stolen base. 
So it's now two in scoring position with two outs for the Hillers. Hit high in the air, and the shortstop ranging under it, she'll make the catch. Emma Maturo able to make the catch for the third and final out of the fifth. It's an 11 to six Norwood lead as we head to the top of the six on HCAM. Top of the sixth inning, an 11 to six Norwood lead. All kinds of rallies in this game. First pitch inside to Jenna Mazzola, the right fielder. She is two for two at the plate, also has a walk and has scored three runs. There's a strike, one and one. All the Hillers pitchers today is, have just had a hard time with these Norwood hitters. And some difficulty finding the strike zone. We'll see if that changes here. Up the left side, throw to first, not a problem. Five to three on the out. One away. And now Katie Welsh, the left fielder, will step in. So Hillers baseball getting the six to four win over Norwood over on the other side of the turf. We'll have highlights and the game broadcast available very soon on our YouTube page. Inside on that pitch to Katie Welsh, the left fielder. With the win, the Hillers baseball team improves to 14 and five. And Norwood falls to eight and 10 inside. Two and oh. Fouled away, two and one. CD is set to deliver. Hit high in the air, over to right field, ranging under it and making the catch is Megan Sullivan. Two away. That'll bring up Ben Garzinski, the center fielder. Or excuse me, Bryn Garzinski. Center fielder has had a pretty good day today. Three for four at the plate with a run scored and a pair of steals. Also a run batted in as her first pitch is inside. Top of the order for Norwood. Hit in the air over to center field. Katie Holly ranges back and it's over her reach. So Garzinski rounding second, heading for third and she'll have a triple. A two out triple for Garzinski and now Emma Maturo, the shortstop, will step in. Well, the top of the order especially has given these Hillers pitchers a very tough time. Emma Maturo, one for three today, or excuse me, make that one for two with a sacrifice and a walk. Up high. One and oh. Juliana Cedia is set to deal. There's a strike. The 1-1. One, one. And this is up the left side and caught by McCluskey. And that'll be the third out of the inning. So we will head to the bottom of the sixth. It's Norwood leading Hopkinton 11 to six on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Emily Whalen set to step in top of the order for the Hillers here in the bottom of the six. And they certainly need some offense trailing 11 to six. First pitch is a strike. This game nearly two hours old. It has certainly been, I think, maybe the longest softball game of the season. 
That pitch down low, one and one. Over on the other side of the turf, the baseball game flew by with the Hillers taking the win over Norwood, six to four, and the outfielders collide there, but it was held on to by Bryn Garcinski. Very nice job by the center fielder holding on to the ball after a collision with the right fielder, Jenna Mazzola. So one away, now Tara Kester will step in. There's a strike. 0-1 on Kester. Well, Bryce Steele, strike two. Wind up and the pitch. Just high. One and two. Hiller is down to their final five outs. Fouled away. There's a rocket right towards us. We're very thankful for the fence. Count remains one and two. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Out number two, that'll bring up Katie Holly. Katie Holly had an RBI triple back in the bottom of the second. Fouled away, I think that was an attempted bunt there. Kind of a half bunt. O oh, and one count on Holly. Up high. One and one. Up the middle, past the reach of the pitcher, picked up by the second baseman, no problem. Danielle Curavan with the out four to three for out number three. It's an 11 to six Norwood lead as we head to the seventh on H cam. Top of the seventh inning, Norwood will try to add some insurance. Stepping in is Kaylee Reed, the catcher, three, four, and five do up. And this is hit in the air over to right field and caught by Whalen, one away. I'll bring up Amanda Olbrice, the pitcher. Well, the Hillers will be down to their final three outs next inning. Amanda Olbrice struggled in the bottom of the second, but it's been smooth sailing ever since. The pitch up high, one and oh. Ooh, that hit her. She will take first. Addie Hudson, the designated player, will step in. Addie has singled and walked twice, drove in a run, and grounded out. She's caught stealing back in the top of the second. Up the middle, Cedia picks it up, throw to first, not a problem. And now the throw to second, and an attempt to get Olbrice, but she'll slide back safely. One to three for out number two. And Danielle Caravan, the second baseman, will step in. Inside. One and oh.
Line up and the pitch. Inside. Two and O count. An 11 to six Norwood lead here in the top of the seventh. There's a strike. Two outs in the inning, runner on second, a two and one count to Danielle Caravan, the second baseman. She's 0 for 3 with a walk. Up high. Three and one. Well, Juliana Cedia started this game, pitched the first three and two thirds of an inning, and then Charlotte can pitch an inning and a third. Didn't have much success, so Juliana Cedia came back in the game. Fouled away, full count. Cedia deals. Fouled away, staying alive is Danielle Caravan. Danielle Caravan, a senior for the Mustangs. Pretty good infielder as well, has had some nice plays today. That's fouled away, count remains full. And that is going to be a walk. Runner takes off from second as well and, and advances to third. So now it's runners on the corners with two outs. And now they got the runner from first in a pickle. And they're going to send the runner from third home. But Whalen's going to stay with it and lay on the tag for the out. And the question is, did the uh, runner going home score first? We'll have to take a look at what the scoreboard says, but I think it's... I don't think she did, so I think it might stay 11 to six. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh. The Hillers down to their final three outs up next on HCAM. So it is indeed a 12 to six Norwood lead. That run counted, Amanda Albright scored as Danielle Caravan was caught in the pickle. And since she scored first, it counts. So it is a 12 to 6 Norwood lead as the runner scored before the Emily Whalen tag and Cedia takes a strike. 4, 5 and 6 due up for the Hillers who are down to their final three outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Well the good thing is at the very least Hillers will own a piece of the TVL large title. They could be the loan holders if they're able to tie this game up or walk off in this inning. There's a strike, one and two, but with the way Amanda Albrice is pitching since the bottom of the second, that's going to be a very tough thing to do. It's Julian Cedia, Kristen McCluskey, Alyssa McIntyre. Down low. Two and two is the count on Cedia. She'll get a piece of this one over to left field, to the wall, and it's foul, just foul. If that stayed fair, that would have been gone. Count remains two and two. Well, if anybody can get a rally started, it's Jillian Cedia. She's tying up her cleat. In the bottom of the seventh inning, a two and two count on Cedia. First hitter of the inning. 11, or 12 to six lead for Norwood. They got the manufactured run last inning. That pitch was inside, full count now. Line up and the pitch. Draws the walk, just what the Hillers needed there. 
The runner on with no outs. There will be a pinch runner for CD. It'll be Carly Stevens. Kristen McCluskey will step in. Old Bryce set to deliver. Down low. Well, there's been a lot of pitches thrown in this game by Old Bryce. I wonder how tired her arm is. There's a bunt, a little bloop, and Albright dives in to make the catch throw to first to try to get Stevens, and it was not in time. Stevens is safe, but there is one out. So one to three on the out. Nice job by Stevens staying right near the bag and able to slide back in time. Hiller's down to their final two outs. Melissa McIntyre will step in. Down low, throw to first, runner back safe. And this is up the middle, right back to the pitcher. That'll bring up Juliana Cedia. Hillers down to their final out. Time called by the hitter. Fouled away. One and one. Up the middle, right back to the pitcher. And that'll do it. Amanda Albright slamming the softball down. And she's pumped up because she knows that Norwood has the victory and a piece of the TVL Arge title as it'll be split three ways between Norwood, Medfield, and Hopkinton. The Norwood Mustangs victorious over the Hopkinton Hillers on the softball diamond today, 12 to six. Norwood with 12 runs on 14 hits. The Hillers with six runs on 11 hits. It was certainly Tough day for the Hopkinton Hillers in the pitcher circle. But postseason, it's coming up next for the Hillers. This was the last game of regular season play for Hopkinton. Certainly a tough way to end it for the Hillers, but now you gotta get your focus going for the postseason. And this Hillers team certainly a good amount of talent. And they could do some damage in the playoffs if they can get those bats going into the postseason. And we'll certainly try to follow all along. The, the Hillers finishing regular season play with 13 wins and six losses. Norwood improves to 11 and five. They have a couple games left on their schedule, but it's been a fun season of Hillers softball and more to come with postseason action. The final score for the final time, the Norwood Mustangs 12, the Hopkinton Hillers 6. For Joe Frackleton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you in the postseason. Go Bruins! Thank you.